Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I am Pastor Shogun Baje. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. Today we are taking our anchor scripture from Isaiah chapter 61. We read from verse 1 into verse 3. Awesome scripture. This speaks of the Messianic prophecy of Jesus Christ, the Anointed One, fulfilling His ministry as the Anointed One. He says, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. He hath sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of prison to them that are bound. And then he says, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. And verse 3 says, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. And verse 4 is very, very remarkable. He says, and they shall build the old wastes. Speaking of infrastructure, Hallelujah. Today we're looking at building mental infrastructure by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You know, many listening to me right now, your mind needs renovation. You need an outright overhaul of your thoughts. Not routine maintenance, overhaul. Absolute overhaul. Why? Because, you know, somehow you've given your mind to things that are inconsistent with the word and you need to build mental infrastructure for success if, if you look at any economy all right what makes the success of that economy or country is the level of development of infrastructure infrastructure all right um, is um, a factor of production a factor of success and that's why it's important you build mental infrastructure. What does that mean? You must get your mind ready to be the person that God has made you to be and to go to the very place, reach your very goal, the goal that God has set before you. Mental infrastructure will help you think the right thoughts and allow you know, thoughts of possibilities to rule and reign in your heart so that you can fulfill your God-given destiny. Now listen very carefully. Give attention to building your mind. A mind of possibility, a mind of dominion, is a mind of success. You want to succeed so greatly, work on your mind. You have to renovate or build the old waste in your mind. Building mental infrastructure according to God's word. Thinking upon God's word and living according to God's word such that your mind is attuned to the possibilities and realities of God's word. And then you can absorb in without any form of doubt what God has said to you. You can see the possibility of it with the eyes of your spirit through your mind and then you can receive the word of God the way you ought to and walk in the light of it. Praise God. Give attention to the word. Meditate on God's word and let the Spirit of God breathe upon your mind through the Word of God and bring new infrastructure from your mind. Glory to God. Building mental infrastructure. I believe you've been blessed today. The old ways that are built in your life in Jesus' name. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in this fair of grace. I love you and God bless you.